This is a simple circuit from a scene wave oscillator operating between 39 kHz up to 168 kHz. It's made with one transistor. It's here, the BC547B. You can use this transistor up to approximately 9 MHz. <coughs> with this uh, trimmer you can set the transistor to its working point in such a way that the whole circuit starts to oscillate. So this is an important trimmer. This is the emitter capacitor, the emitter resistor, and this is the output capacitor. And here we find the sine wave out. <coughs> you can uh, lower the value from this resistor if necessary. And the circuit is usable for uh, a radio, for instance, or a small transmitter. And when you take C1, this capacitor, as a variable capacitor, you can tune the oscillator by turning the knob from the variable capacitor. It must be 500 picofarad or 1000 picofarad, approximately. This is the frequency that's generated at the moment, 39 kilohertz. <coughs> and here is the circuit on the breadboard. This is the coil, 400 turns, thin wire, uh, approximately 0.3 millimeters. And this is the ferrite rod, and you can take it in, or take it out and put it in. When I take it out, the frequency goes up. Of course, the wavelength gets shorter, and now I put in the ferrite rod. And you can see that the wavelengths get bigger, so the frequency goes down. Take the ferrite rod out again. And the good thing from this oscillator is that it has a pure waveform, pure sine wave, not much distortion. And when I take the core out, of the coil. Here you can also see that the frequency goes up. This is the maximum frequency, but you can adapt the coil to your own needs. For instance, with less turns, um, the frequency will go up from this oscillator circuit. And with a bigger capacitance, the frequency goes down. More turns, the frequency goes down too. So it's possible to generate other frequencies with this circuit. And when you want to use it in radio application, sometimes you find here a buffer circuit. It's, a, it's an emitter follower. It's also on my channel. And that's done to uh, diminish the influences from the um, output on the frequency of the oscillator. Of course, when it all has to be precise, you need a stabilized voltage supply. That's always necessary for a stable frequency. Because when the voltage changes, the frequency will change too. <coughs>